I've done over a million dollars in revenue on Etsy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make hundreds of best-selling designs in just a couple of minutes using AI. But first off, I've used a process called print on demand. And what print on demand is, is that you create designs and then you put your design on top of a product image, kind of like a t-shirt like this. And then you take that product image and put it up on a marketplace like Etsy. Once the listing sells on Etsy, you then connect the order to a production partner on Printify. And that production partner then ships and fulfills the items for you. And we as the sellers don't have to incur any risk with inventory, which is super neat. This also means that we can just mainly focus on making great designs. Now, the first step to the whole process is always, always, always going to be research. I scoured the Etsy web and found these different designs here. Now, a key part to the whole thing is to find current best selling listings and then see what commonalities there are between them. And there are major commonalities between these currently best-selling listings. And I think it's kind of obvious, but mainly it's like the retro rainbow kind of vibe and that whole distressed grungy vibe. And apart from that too, there's always this text above and text underneath too. All of these designs basically have the same general outline with just different text and a different icon in the middle in the rainbow. So major, major similarities here between them. All of them are basically currently bestsellers apart from this one, but this one has like 681 reviews. So a lot of sales comes with having those reviews. Uh, but these are currently bestsellers today on Etsy. So we can basically just understand that this type of design style, because we have several different listings with the same general design outline, all selling today in different, different, like totally different niches. That means that this design is a best selling type of design. Now, the key thing to the whole process is to add value. So one of the biggest like niches there is on Etsy and that I was all ton in myself is nurses. So let's say that we want to make a cardiac nurse shirt. And then when I do all of my like research, I always want to make sure that it says ships to the US since that's my target market. Since I live in Sweden, I apply the physical items filter and then the star seller filter. And I swap out star for best in the search bar to only see the best sellers for a given niche. Now, we know that this type of design style is selling really well in separate niches. So what if we add it into the cardiac nurse niche? Because it can probably sell well there too if we just change some of the design around. But first, before we do anything like that, we have to see if there's any designs like this in the niche. Because if there was a design like this, or like this, or like this in the niche, and it's already selling, then we can add value to the niche by doing that because there's already a design like that in the niche. We almost have to add new design styles into the niche in order to add value to the niche because that's the only way that you can make this whole game work. So let's see if we can find any designs like that that are currently selling today. And no, there's no designs like that currently selling today from what I can see here on the first page. And it's also good to know that like 80% of uh, sales comes from the first page. So it's mainly the first page that we have to look at. So, okay, this is perfect. Now we basically know what type of design to make in this niche. And we also know that there's no design like that in the niche. So we can add value in the niche by adding this design into it with some other wording and another icon here in the middle. Now, to speed this up a lot, we can use AI. And I mainly use my designs for this because it's so, so, so powerful. But first off, we need a prompt. And to get the prompt, we use ChatGPT. So first, I'll take a screenshot of this design. We go to ChatGPT, we upload it to ChatGPT, and then we ask it, can you describe this image in detail as a prompt. That's the first step. And then we want to ask it, can you change the wording so it fits a cardiac nurse niche? I want the above text and the text below to fit a cardiac nurse. And I want the middle icon to be relatable to nurses. And usually when that is, does this, it, it gives us a bit of a weird format for the whole prompt. So we gotta say, also say it like, please phrase it as a prompt. Can you phrase it in one paragraph? So it's easy to copy and paste. The key thing is just to get a one paragraph with no like spaces in between the text, because that's how we can scale this out quickly later on. So then we go to my designs dream AI, which is so, so powerful. We enter the prompt we got from ChatGPT, and then we can choose which type of AI model we wanna use. Recently, the Itogram V2A Turbo was released and they integrated it super, super fast. 
and I really love to use this. So let's try the Edugram V2A Turbo and see what type of designs we get. We also want to make sure that we have some different options. So at least like four images is what I usually always do. And that not too high of a resolution because that costs a bit too many credits. And we'll go to the dream button and see what we get. And let's see here. I don't like the background. It, that can definitely cause problems. So uh, change the background to be plain black. So yeah, so I went back to JetGPT and wanted to just change the background. So I just said change the background to be to be plain black. Copy this. We do another one. Okay, that may be kind of weird. So just let, let's just look at the first prompt here that we got because this looks really good. It's just the background that's a bit of a problem. This entire design has a weather warning look and is printed on a plain black background. So we just changed that part of the prompt and hopefully we'll get this kind of vibe but with just a plain black background. And that's just mainly important for the background remover, so it works correctly. Yes, this is actually what we want. So this is something we, that we definitely could use. Let's see here. Sometimes the wording get, gets really, 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 really weird here. So we could use this, but let's see if we can find some other wording that we can use. That we can just, because we, we want to take this and basically scale it out. Actually, let's go back to ChatGPT here and just take this design, take this prompt, because I think this looks good. The good thing about this is that it's specifically targeted toward cardiac nurses only. So cardiac nurses would definitely understand this from the get. Now, in order to make designs super fast today with AI and with my designs, we can use these parallel prompts. But before we do that, let's go back to ChatGPT and then say, please take this prompt and change it around so it fits and change the wording and the icon in the middle so it fits every nurse specialty in the US. Separate each prompt by a space so I can easily copy and paste it. Something like that. Whoops, I forgot to put in the prompt. Let's see if we can redo it. That we can do. Perfect. We already got the cardiac nurse. So let's do the ER nurse. Perfect. We do the ER nurse. So the thing with parallel prompts is if I just, while ChatGPT is generating the list for us, I can just go like type two spaces and then just type in the new prompt here. And did you see that the credits just doubled? That's because it now understands that, that it will make one design for this prompt and one design for this prompt. And we can just keep on going for every single prompt that we get here. And we'll take everyone here. Let's see here. And let's start with that. Let's see here. And sometimes it just stops to just check in if there's any refinements that you want to do. And then I just say, please continue the list until all a nurse specialties have got its own prompt. Ensure there are no repeats. Just to ensure that we have not no repeats. So let's see here. Let's just take some more and see what we get. So basically we want this type of design outline with different wording and a different icon in the middle, but we want to do it efficiently like this. So we don't have like all of this just as one-offs. Let's see here, dermatology nurse, diabetes nurse, dialysis nurse, forensic nurse. Let's do these and see what happens. Oh, I think I made something wrong here maybe. Wait, which prompt is wrong here? Okay, so that prompt was wrong. So let's just add these. Okay, let's do forensic nurse. Does that work? No, okay. So we'll do 76 credits here. And that's basically how many designs. I think it's 76 different designs. And we can just press now, click here. Boom. And we'll get 76 new designs with each of these different prompts. Let's see here. And there's four designs for each prompt. So basically four different designs for each niche to just pick from. Let's just refresh the page and we'll see how this looks. Let's see here. Okay, so, so something in the prompt here was weird, which basically made this whole design batch weird. Mistakes like this always happens. So let's just go back to the drawing board, which is basically ChatGPT in this case, and just fix the prompt. So we just say take this prompt and change the wording and the icon inside of the sunset so it fits all every different take this prompt and change the wording and the icon inside of it i want one design to fit one nurse specialty in the us i want one prompt for all different nurse 
specialties. This is the prompt. Let's just, just also include like keep the general outline of the design intact. Let's see if this is better. Let's see here. Now it looks a lot better with the retro sunsets for sure. So again, we all make mistakes and this is how I'm learning like my as myself AI these days. You just make mistakes and then you just fix it as you go. Just to double check so we don't have to spend too many credits. Let's just take this knee suitors and let's just take that and just enter it here and press dream. And let's just see what we get. This is much more of what I had in mind. So this is perfect. This is the same type of design style, but just applied to neonatal ICU nurses. So now we got it. Let's just go back here and just copy this. Take this list you just made and make it easy to copy and paste each prompt. Let's see if that gives us a better format for it. Skip the headlines and the line divider. Let it just run out so we can do finish the job. Because again, efficiency is key to make this whole thing work and to get the biggest ROI for our time. So let's just wait it out until the list is finished and just give it give it this prompt. Okay, I can't use this since I've hit my limit now. But okay, so let's just take this. I would basically just skip the headlines and the line they've already just get one seamless list. But instead for that, let's just do it like this. Let's just take this, take that, and then we go here, and then we go there. And then we go there, let's see here, whoops, like that, yes. Sometimes it just becomes a bit weird. Yeah, let's see here, that's weird. Okay, so we got that, I think. Yes, let's add that. And then let's take this, and then let's go here, copy that, insert that there, copy this into this, and then we take this into this. And then we apply the parallel prompt, so we know that it's basically different ones. And this will give us 40 designs. It's basically then 10 designs and four designs for each niche. And then just let's see what happens. This should be more in line with what we're actually going for. So let's see here what we get. Okay, so this is perfect. This, and I mean like, this is mainly applicable to flight nurses since that's like, it's a big plane in the middle, but that makes it just much more rel relatable and much more valuable for someone who actually is a flight nurse. But it's the same general outline, we just still keep the design that we know is proven and just apply it into the niche that we're going for. This is for some kind of surgical nurse, I think. But I mean, like these are perfect. And in just a couple of minutes, we got all of these really great designs that we can use for our print on demand businesses. It's just crazy. And the sky is the limit. Like this AI stuff is getting better each and every day. There have been previously so many kinks with using like AI and stuff. And mainly because like AI can sometimes include shadows and stuff like that. And you can't really print shadows that well with DTG. So it never really prints well if you use that, which is why I've like strayed, strayed from like using AI previously. But like this doesn't have any of that. It's just like, it takes the manual work that we did before and just fast tracks it totally for us. Because in just a couple of minutes, I got a cardiac nurse shirt. I got a surgical nurse shirt. I got a flight nurse shirt. I got a an ambulance nurse shirt. I got all of these different type of designs, basically 40 different design styles for uh, 10 different niches in just a couple of minutes. And I could just expand the list that I have here and on and just get hundreds of different designs in a couple of minutes using AI, which is just so, so powerful. And today, how it actually looks, like this looks so, so good. So, 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 so good. Sometimes you get these weird, like it, it looks weird. <laughs> so you definitely shouldn't look at this, but I mean like, that's why you want four designs per, per prompt, because this one works. This is my spare suck, but this one looks really weird. And uh, this one looks weird too. This one looks weird too. But we all, we still got one that looked really good and that works because like, just like ourselves, AI also makes mistakes. But I mean, like this looks so good and you can use this. It doesn't include a trademark, anything trademark here too. So you can use this in our, in our print on demand businesses. And I'm just so impressed about the future and how we can actually use this ourselves. Because honestly, I created some designs. I put them up 
and the day after I got three sales organically using no ads with pure AI designs. I didn't even touch Canva when it just came to designing, which is why I think it's just so important to now in 2025 embrace AI and implement that going forward because I can just make 40 designs in like five minutes and I can make hundreds of designs in minutes which basically just fast tracks my whole progress and I basically just don't have to get stuck in the weeds when I'm designing something.